Alright guys, today's video here is going to be about this application, or I should say launcher. This is called Apex Launcher. Um, probably one of my top favorite launchers that I've played with. Um, I originally did a video on this thing a long time ago when I first started doing YouTube. Um, so I figured, you know what, it's time to go back and do a review on this. This has changed so much since the last time I did a review on Apex Launcher. So I went ahead and already installed this. Let's go ahead and look at the application. Here you go. This is it right here. Um, and it's very, very nice. This is just a standard setup. Now, if you want it to be your launcher permanently, you just hit your home button. And, um, well, it's not going to let me do it here because I turned it off. So let me show you how to do it. We'll go in here to Apex Launcher. Now, this is going to be the pro version. And uh, it's really important that uh, if I were you, what I would do is buy the pro version just because the pro version is awesome. Anytime you find an app that's worth putting on your device, it's pretty much worth buying the pro version. At least that's my opinion on the situation. So I'm going to go into advanced and I'm going to go ahead and see where it's at. Set default launcher. I'm going to go ahead and turn on Apex and always. And now when I hit my home button, it'll always bring me back to the Apex launcher home. So uh, very, very cool. All right. So let me go ahead and go through a ton. This launcher is fully loaded with all kinds of very, very fun goodies. So I'm going to try to go through it as best I can. Um, obviously, this is how it looks pretty much when you first get it. Pretty standard looking um, transitions and all that kind of stuff. You know, you got your back button here. You got your home button. And if you are not on the main home screen, you hit it once, it brings you, should bring you back there. Let's see. This one's just bringing previews for right now. Um, and then you got your apps running applications buttons obviously on there. So what, what the home launcher does is it what it really changes is it changes all your home screens and it actually changes your app drawer a little bit. You'll be themed a little differently. Along the header here it does have this downloaded section. You can specifically see downloaded applications and then widgets and then um, you know you have some different settings up here in the top along with locking desktop. So your icons cannot be modified or changed. So there is some very neat features in it. Um, besides that, I'm going to try to, like I said, go through this. This thing is just fully loaded. You can go to this menu and you can do all these different things. You can see it does have theme settings and Apex settings and so on. Um, themes are really cool. I'm going to actually show you that right now because it's probably one of my favorite things. So I've actually downloaded Define, Icon Pack, KitKat Experience, and Knox Themes. These are all themes that should work with. Apex Launcher, which is really cool. Knox is probably one of my favorites, so I'm actually going to select it. And I'm going to do the wallpaper, the icons, and the skins. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply. And this is very easy to theme. It does not require root access to do this. So, shabam, there you go. Now you've got a totally themed out Knox looking uh, theme, which is very cool. You can see all the icons have all changed. And uh, it just totally changes the look of your device. You can see your Coloring along the top instead of white is now orange. Um, it just does all these cool things very easily and simply. And like I said, doesn't even require root access to do it. Definitely if you want to change your look at your device, this is probably the way to do it. Download a custom launcher um, like Apex Launcher and then download some kind of theme for it and you'll be really rocking it. So besides that, um, let's go ahead and look at, oh, let's see, what does it say? Please open recent apps and swipe away another launcher that's in memory so we can hit that and then this will just swipe that away to get rid of that warning we can go back into settings there we go alright so I'm gonna try to go through all these settings there's a ton in here like I said this is the pro version um, which does have a couple extra features in it but for the most part there's not really too much I think most of this does come in the free version but like I said if you want to support the developer I would definitely do this um, so here you can change your grid layout, which is kind of cool. So portrait, um, you know, maybe we want five icons per row and five rows per screen. You can adjust that and um, see, we'll go ahead and go back and look at it. Okay, so here you go. You can see now you have more space. So if I take this one off, you can see that I have five across now instead of four. You know, things like that. You can see this is actually shrunk down a little bit. 
we want to resize that back so do like that and you can adjust you know just adjust all that kind of stuff which is what, what makes these launchers so fun uh, let's see what else we have in here icon size you can adjust that you can manage screens um, scrolling infinite balance different things like that okay so transition effect this is probably one of the cool things that I've always liked about these um, is changing this transition effect so I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do cube out and go ahead and show you that so this is when you're changing screens here okay so you see it it's like it looks like a cube and like a bounce so it's just a different transition again it just gives you a feel of a new device really uh, by doing that kind of stuff so let's see what else we have in here so you can change all your transitions and go through all that stuff um, wallpaper mode you can do all kinds of cool things with that um, with uh, multiple screens different pictures and I mean just there's a whole bunch of fun settings that you can do right there indicate um, so dots or lines change it to lines just to show you that so when you scroll your page you have a line down there on the bottom right above all those icons in the bottom it's orange it just changes that kind of stuff I mean like I said this is just super super customizable uh, we'll go ahead and check some other things in here so oh you do have tablet UI mode transition bar okay so here's a, here's one that I like to do so show persistent search bar I like the, the Google search bar so I always put it as always and it pretty much keeps it so it stays on every screen um, so we'll show you that really quick again so here you go so this one's like an app so we'll remove it and then you have that other search bar that stays on top on every single screen you go to or you can actually change and you can even change the look of that so right there that's the Kit Kat looking Google search bar we can go in here and we can you know do the jelly bean looking one if you want you know go back out and that actually looks pretty close to the same. Let's try the other one. That's jelly bean. Let's go to ice cream sandwich. That should do it. There we go. So it's like that clear, you know, clear look and just an outline. So you can just, it just, like I said, it's all about customization when it comes to these custom launchers. So besides that, you do have some things you can hide here. Um, different, different little things. You can hide the notification bar if you want. I don't really like doing that, but lots lots of cool settings in there let's go ahead and check out the drawer settings so it's the same kind of layout here you can change you know animations so draw animation how it how it runs fly in fly out scaling that kind of stuff um, again scrolling uh, again transition effect so you want that cubed or accordion or none or tablet or scaling or wheel so I'll show you I'll show you a uh, flip we'll do flip really quick and show you guys that one. So you go in your app drawer and now you scale. See, see how it works. Hola. So like I said, this is this is the awesomeness of custom launchers. Um, so like I said, there's a lot more in there. Then you got docs. I don't know if you guys understand this. This is not. I've not seen this on anything but a custom launcher where you actually have different docs. This says number of docs, number of icons on the docs. So I'll show you what a doc is. But first, I'm going to change this to seven because it's really kind of cool when you do it this way. And then we're going to go home. And, okay, so you can see how your drawer right here has just changed, or your, your, your buttons down here. So now you can have seven icons on the bottom down here. And what's really cool is you can actually scroll these and add seven more. And scroll again, add seven more, and then you're back to the original ones. So it scrolls just like your home screen scroll. So very, very, very cool. Definitely some neat features there. Uh, we'll look in here one more time really quick. You can just change some margins, some different doc background stuff if you want to get into any of that. Um, indicator positions, high doc dividers, just, just a bunch of things you can adjust on the docs. Or if you don't want to scroll those because you can just put it like to one and then it'll just stay on that one. It won't accidentally scroll over and you'll be like, where'd all my icons go? So different and cool stuff there. Here you got folders and backgrounds. Um, different looks, you know, here's, here's like a grid one. A lot of people like seeing that one. I kind of think it's pretty cool. Um, and all that kind of stuff you can adjust for your folders. So we'll go back and just double check that really quick. So here you go. You can see the folders just looks a little different for icons on it, which is pretty cool. All right. To continue on here, guys, let's actually get back into settings again. I'm just going to show you one more time, um, how to change themes just cause it's pretty cool. So here's a Kip Cat experience theme. And we're going to apply all of it really quick. 
This makes your device really look like it's Kit Kat. Now it does have a different kind of funky launcher on the bottom, which I probably would tweak and change and get rid of that. But um, still pretty cool. Like I said, I don't really like that uh, background on the dock. So let's actually see if I can adjust that really quick. Show dock on top of desktop. So when we're putting none, let's do it that way actually. Let's try that. There we go. Now we're talking. Very, very cool. Definitely liking the KitKat theme. That's pretty slick. So um, we'll go back into settings. We have behavior settings. So home key actions. So show previews. Um, different stuff that it can do, which is pretty, pretty sweet. Um, and you can change it to do all kinds of stuff. Like a voice search or a show notification bar. I mean, it does a lot. Lock the screen. Launch an application. Launch a shortcut. Um, definitely a lot of different things you can do on that key button press if you want to program that way. Long press the menu. You can do different things there. Active system animations. So you can have, they're running off whatever the system animations are. If you like this style of jelly bean, ice cream sandwich, and other features you can choose from right here, which are very cool. So then if you have the pro version, you get these gestures that you can actually do as well. So we can do a swipe down, a swipe up, a pinch, push your fingers together, two fingers swipe up, swipe down, a whole bunch of gesture stuff you guys can go ahead and program in there, which is pretty cool. So I'll just do a uh, quick um, swipe up. So we're going to go to, let's do launch an application at swipe up. So what would be a cool application I maybe I want to just maybe I want to launch my camera on swipe up. Go ahead and hit apply. And you can see there's other settings in here, but we're not going to go over those right now. And then if you're on the home screen, you just swipe up. And shabam. There's my wall and it launches the camera. So anytime in your launcher, you can swipe up and launch the camera. So like I said, this thing just it's just packed full of stuff. This thing just makes it fun. Here's those themes again. You can come in here and do themes or hit get more themes and look for more on Google Play. You do have notification settings, which is pretty cool. This is Apex Notifier. Now, if you turn this on, you do have to download an extra plugin. And it does some really cool things about putting little numbers on icons for missed calls and stuff like that. I'm not going to do it right this minute, but um, definitely some cool stuff you can do. I think this is also probably a pro feature um, if you want it. But it does. it is pretty cool. It will just put these little numbers on all your... Your icons, your phone, and your Gmail and stuff telling you how many notifications you have in each one. And then we have advanced settings, and you saw me in this earlier. So, customize menu. So, this is going to allow you to hide things on the menu button uh, from the home screen um, if you don't want to have everything on the menu button. You know, you can just do a couple things, and then you can see here, I'll show you. So, when you go to here, hit menu. It, it makes this menu smaller or bigger or will show whatever you want to put on that menu is basically all it, all that does. So go back into advanced. Resize any widget. I always have that done. Widget padding default. That's fine. Um, icons and fonts. So that also has to do with themes. You can change some of those kind of things. Theme, light, regular. Other, other cool things you can do for fonts. Here's where you're going to set your default launcher. So if you ever want to take Apex Launcher and not make it your default launcher, you can come in there and you can normally restore your stock launcher. You can see the stock ones listed right there. Apex, there's Lucid Launcher, the launcher I like to use. So hit, hit Always and you have that set up that way. And then I guess the last couple of things we'll go through here almost at the end. Keep in memory, just stores this launcher in memory so it doesn't have to have it. It has less lag and redraws which is definitely a nice feature as well. And then you obviously can do a backup of all your settings and restores and import like your desktop. So example, if you had your desktop or your, it's called the desktop, but if you had your other launch or your stock launcher all set up exactly how you wanted it, if you hit import, you can import all the settings from your stock launcher and it'll put all the icons on, the, on your screens correctly and widgets and all that kind of stuff on Apex Launcher. So that's good to know and actually that'll be prompted I think as soon as you install it the first time. So very very cool definitely a lot of cool fun features in here there's also reset Apex Launcher and reset it back to it was when you downloaded it and that's pretty much all the settings in it. 
like I said, if this thing's just stock full, it does have a lot of cool features in it. And I'm definitely really liking this uh, launcher for sure. It basically just changes your home screens and your app drawer. Otherwise, your notifications and stuff are all going to be however your device was stock. But it does give it a whole new feel and look to your device. So I hope you guys like this review of Apex Launcher. Going through the settings, giving you a little feel of how this works, theming and all that fun stuff. Um, please, if you like this, comment in the video. I'll probably make more launch reviews. Like I said, I've done tons of these, but they are all the launchers are being updated at this point, so everything looks a little bit different. Um, that's pretty much all I got for you today. Hope you guys like it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie, out.